Be prepared to die. <gasps> oh. What? Uh, what? Uh, safety's on. Safety? What's a safety on a laser sword? Oh. <laughs> I swear this never happens. <laughs> uh, it looks like you have it on whip. Uh, rake, pinwheel, toothpick, mystery. <laughs> well, it looks like old Darth has some of the same problems with lasers that I do. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today, we're going to take a look at a couple of laser tools that I've never worked with before. So we're going to unbox these tools and see exactly how they work. So for today's video, I once again fell down the Amazon rabbit hole. <laughs> as these are two tools that Amazon has been recommending for me for quite some time. And of course I don't need two of these. However, since I have this YouTube channel, I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to compare these two tools as they're two of the cheaper brands. In fact, they're significantly less expensive. They're 25 to 50% of the cost of some of your more popular brands like Makita, Milwaukee, and DeWalt. So what are we talking about today? Well, it's the 3D laser level. And this is a tool that I'm gonna be using all the time to lay out my shop once my renovation is complete. So let's go grab these two laser levels and start to take a look at them. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Lasgu laser level as well as the DeVoe laser level. Let's unbox these and see what's inside. But before we get into these boxes, we need to talk about the prices of these tools for some of your more popular brands. If you're looking at a DeWalt, a Milwaukee, or a Makita, you're gonna pay approximately $420 or all the way up to $935. And these two tools are only a fraction of that price, with the DeVoe being at $280 and the Lasku only at $150. So let's start off with that DeVoe and then we'll take a look at that Lasku. So the DeVoe comes in a really nice hard shell case. <coughs> If we open this case, we can see what comes with this tool. You can see there's the user manual as well as some laser safety goggles. There's the tool itself as well as a calibration stick. There's a charger and a couple of batteries. Also, there's a tripod mount. Now, I did want to mention that I played around with both of these lasers and they're no joke. Those lasers are extremely powerful and I can totally understand why they gave you a set of safety goggles. Safety pins, safety scissors, no safety goggles. So let's take a closer look at the physical components of this tool. As you can see, there's an X, Y, and Z axis. This is so that you can lay out your lasers on your entire room. If we look at the very bottom, you can see there's a DC outlet, and this takes a USB-C cord. I love USB-C connectors. I love the symmetry. I love how they look. At the very bottom is where you place your battery. There's also the tripod mount. If we flip the tool around, there's a little switch that allows you to switch it from pendulum mode to manual mode. Now that we understand the physical design of this tool, let's put the battery in and fire this thing up. If we take a look at the top of the tool, you can see there's only three buttons. At the very top is the on-off switch as well as the pulse mode switch. The pulse mode is used for larger areas. If we look on the left-hand side, you can see there's a horizontal laser switch. On the right-hand side is the vertical laser switch. If we look at the top, there's three indicators. The top left-hand indicator is the manual mode indicator. The middle indicator is the pulse mode indicator. And finally, we have the battery indicator. Now, earlier I indicated that this thing has a pendulum in it. So why didn't I flinch? Because the laws of science differ fundamentally from those of And it does, which is really nice, because this means this tool is self-leveling. So that means that you can place this tool on a flat surface or a semi-flat surface, and this thing will still give you straight and accurate readings. But not only that, if you place this thing on a surface that's so unlevel that the pendulum won't work, it will give you an alarm. Now the next thing that I wanna show you is what this thing looks like in a large area. My barn is 30 foot wide by 50 foot long. Now I don't need to turn the lights off to see this laser in person. However, to show you on camera, I'm gonna turn the lights off so that you can see how it works. So here you can see the intersection of the horizontal and vertical line. And this is about 15 feet from the tool as I have the tool right in the center of my barn, which is 30 foot wide. If I take a look at the reading on the length of the barn, which is 25 feet away from the tool, you can see that the laser is still very clear in this daylight. And it's in this corner where the laser is the furthest away from the tool, still leaving a very clean and crisp line that's easy to read. Can't read it. I can't read. You can't read. I can't read. 
No, it says I can't. And you may have noticed some interruptions in that laser, but there really are none. This post is a perfect example. Now, as you can see, that laser is hitting the post. However, anything behind is gonna show an interruption in that laser. And if we place our level right next to that horizontal line, you can see that it's perfectly level. And the same can be said for the horizontal line. Well, I have no doubt that the DeVoe 3D laser is going to help me out tremendously when I go to lay out things like cabinets and shelves in my new workshop. However, let's see how it compares to that LASGU. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about before taking a look at the LASGU is you have to remember the LASGU is $130 cheaper than the DeVoe. The DeVoe is $280 while the LASGU is $150. And $150 is an extremely reasonable price given that these things go for as much as $935. So the LASGU comes in a nice, firm, soft shell case. And if we open it up, you can see we have the instruction manual along with the tool itself. It also comes with a tripod mounting bracket as well as one battery. Now, if you remember from the DeVoe, it actually came with two batteries. In the back, you have a charger and in the very front, you actually have a remote that you can use with this tool. You'll also notice that there's no safety goggles with that LASGU, so I guess they like to live dangerously. I also like to live dangerously. But in all seriousness, if you've ever worked with cordless tools, and I'm guessing most of you have, you know that the batteries are super expensive. And I'm guessing that's why LASGU is able to price this tool at a lower level. But let's take this thing out, power it up, and see how it compares to that DeVoe. So if we take a look at the physical design of the LASGU, you can see that it's very similar. It's got the X, Y, and Z axis, and if we flip it on its side, you can see that it actually has the pendulum lock. If we look at the back of the tool, you can also see there's a USB-C port so that you can keep this thing charged. On the very bottom, there's the place where you put your battery as well as attach your tripod. If we take a look at the top of the tool, you'll notice that there's four buttons. There's the on-off switch, which doubles as the pulse mode switch. There's also a vertical one and a vertical two switch. And there's also the horizontal switch. Now, just like with the DeVoe, I mentioned that there's a pendulum on this thing. So this thing is also self-leveling. It also has a pendulum alarm. However, it's not auditory, it's visual. Instead of beeping like the DeVoe, this will actually flash when it gets out of range of its pendulum. If we look at the remote, you'll notice that it has the same four buttons as a tool. The only difference is the on and off switch. Instead of having an on and off switch, it only has the pulse mode switch. So let's do the same test with the LASGU that we did with the DeVoe. I'll turn the lights off so that you can see the laser and we'll test out the brightness on this 30 by 50 barn. Now I did want to mention that I can see the lasers with the lights on. However, I don't think you'll see it on the camera. So here you can see that intersection of the X and the Y at about 15 feet from the tool. And here's that line at 25 feet, which is half of the length of the 50 foot barn. And once again, here's a look at the laser from the furthest distance from that tool, and you can still see that laser very clearly. So I'm pretty pleased at how well that LASGU works. It absolutely accommodates this 30 by 50 foot barn, and I can read all the lines with ease. But there is just a little bit of difference between the brightness of the laser between the DeVoe and the LASGU. Let's turn off the lights and I'll show you. So I'm not quite sure how well this will show up on camera, but if you only look at the vertical lines, you'll notice the DeVoe on the left and the LASGU on the right. Now you may notice that the DeVoe is just a little bit brighter. Now I'm not quite sure how much of a difference this makes, but if you're dealing with larger areas, the DeVoe might be a better solution for you. So I'm quite pleased with the performance of both of these tools. Both of these tools are gonna get some action when I go to lay out my shop after this upcoming renovation. And this really is a personal decision. You have to think about whether or not having a second battery is important to you or whether or not having a remote is important to you as you go to lay out your lines. Well, I really appreciate you joining me today on checking out these two budget-friendly 3D laser levels. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like and leave a comment. It really does help out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.